there. So when you're playing against this sometimes character, like sometimes they're two, grand finals too. Yeah, yeah. Playing against this character like two or three times a week, that tends to you know give you a pretty good matchup advantage. But okay, he didn't go Daisy. He went Peach. I was wrong. If I were Raz, I'd be upset if Nitro losses. I I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna say it, but. Yeah. <laughs> Anything is possible, man. Anything is oh, possible. Oh, that's so sad. He taunted and he got hit for it. He started off the match with a taunt and then just got immediately blown up by a projectile. Like, Nitro's not playing around. He's like, like no, I, nah, bro. This is tournament. I don't care what you're thinking right now. Could follow up immediately. Yo, Nitro, Nitro moves very fast with this character. Like, I don't, I don't know. Like, he makes a zoning character look really quick. And it's interesting because his history comes back from meeting Sonic back on the Smash oh. 4 days. Yeah. And kind it, of being a training partner alongside uh, Scizor. Yeah, it's really interesting for me that he'd gone from Sonic to a character like this. It's, like, so different. You yeah, different I mean? play styles. Nice. Different archetype. But that kind of shows how versatile he is as a player, you know? Mm -hmm. He can play different types of characters at a high level. I think he still has a pocket Sonic in this matchup. Or, sorry, in this game, too. Just not as a... Uh, not as viable as his Belmont. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Tipper back here from Richter. And, uh, yeah, Solex has not really gotten a chance to get started in this. I think he's just trying to figure out how he can get in on this character. He's like, he had, a, he had a battle plan, but then he got hit. And then he was like, what do I do? Yeah, he's like, all right, I know how I'm going to start this match. Nope, you're going to get zoned out. Oh, doesn't oh. cover the roll in. Okay, now you have He needed to space that out just a little bit more with a covered roll. Yeah. Sitting pretty far off stage here. Watch out for the axe. He's got the holy fire. So much shield pressure at the ledge. He's not letting him go anywhere. Keep oppressing him at the corner of the stage. Okay, does he drift his recovery? Nice, gets to the platform. Down air, drag down there. No follow, but really good execution right now from Nitro. <laughs> he kind yeah. of is tossing in all the projectiles just to make sure Solex has a little bit of spacing away from him. Nice, takes back to the stage. One thing that I'm seeing Nitro do here is he's looking for that mid range to keep himself comfortable around Peach. Making sure, like, if she is around me, she's around not only myself, but a projectile. So yeah. every time you try to close it in, he has uh, holy water. Yeah, it's really rough right now for Solex to get in. I mean, as most people find themselves in the situ same situation when they're trying to fight against Nitro. Just a freaking, like, minefield of project projectiles, really. Not only that, the fact that Nitro is really well aware of, like, how to convert from one projectile to another and the follow-up and the percents. That takes a lot to remember. And sometimes he, he Nitro is one of those players like he does toss in the projectile, but he tosses it with purpose. Good opportunity. Yeah. He waited for that. That was a really smart recovery. He just waited for him to use all of his resources at the ledge and then just reeled in from the tether. Oh nice. my goodness! He took oh, all the ah. he took all the damage from the fire. Missed every follow up, but still, uh, that was really smart from Nitro. He just looks so experienced in this matchup, as you can tell. Yeah, and that's the one thing that like, you can see that he kind of has an anti-air against Peach where, like, okay, if you want to stay in flow, I do have the axe. I do yeah. have a really good disjoint. Finally gets an opportunity for a combo that drops it. Oh, my goodness. So he did the slight stall with the downer. If you didn't hit stuns, you just press downer. You do, like, a floating downer like that. Pretty much everyone that has, like, a dive kick downer. Or, yeah, like, ZSS. Yeah, ZSS, Toon Link. Or Link. Link. Nice. He definitely saw the fact he had to go for a jump from the ledge because he was so scared of going for neutral get up or roll get up. Forcing that situation. Axe. I like that he covers the ground because he knows he's trying to float away from the axe and come back on the stage. Yep. Now this is a good pretty good opportunity for Solix to come back right now. Oh, the up nope. still not enough. DI took the corner this time. He's going to go high, make up his recovery a little bit. But there's the lag from the side beat on the stage. Gets caught by the up air. And uh, I don't know, Solix, let's see if he can throw him off stage long enough to get the stock. He's not far behind. He just needs one opening. Of course, Nitro's not going to give him that opening for free. <laughs> As he shouldn't. Parry. Yeah, that move has so much range that even if you parry it, there's very... Uh, see, and there's barely anything you can do because yeah. of the range. Okay, there's a back here. He's going right. to pressure him off stage here. Doesn't get the turn of snipe. Nice. Uh, he's that forward and get that tether recovery. Yeah, he's got tether. But, yeah, I'm kind of uh, wondering why Solix didn't pressure a little bit harder off stage. I honestly think that's what he should be doing as best he can. But there's the up smash. Catching him jumping a little bit too much. Oh, there's a little pressure at the ledge here with all the projectiles. Misses his down tilt. He finally rolls past everything, but only to just miss his combo. Yeah, and that's just really uh, some things that Solex are seeing from him that's making it really hard for him to come back is that 
when he finally gets in, he's not maximizing his damage output. Exactly. And that's exactly what he should be doing as Peach in this matchup. Nice. Like, he was actually looking to confirm from the cross afterwards. Big axe right there. Nice. And he kind of sets up the axe that far because he knows, like, if I can cause Peach to make that far distance recovery from the stage, I can definitely go for another read. Or maybe see the lower cover and try to cover that one. Watch out for all these projectiles. There's the... Oh, that, one, that might have Wait. actually done it. No, oh, he's good. He's man. good. He's good. That could have been so bad for him. That's nice. I'll be out of shield. Not enough. Oh, no. He's down to the corner every time. Still, though, he's taking so much percent. He's trying to float around all the projectiles here. Still finds himself at the ledge, though. That's it. And there yeah. it is. Nice. Catch him in the stun from the fire. Get the easy F tilt at the ledge. All right, look. I don't want to put my boy Nitro on blast, but he, it just dead ass looks like he stole that shirt from the kids department at Disneyland. <laughs> like, real talk, bro. Like, like it just looked like he brother he borrowed his little brother's shirt. Would you would you rock that shirt? Be real with what's me. This, what's the, what's it this called? BB-8. BB-8, yeah. yeah. Would you rock that shirt? You a grown ass man. Uh, see, how the, the minute you I were in, mean, uh, it's, I, I can't rock it, but you know, someone else. Nitro's there. not rocking it. Does he look like he's rocking it? See, see that's all, you're not saying anything. That says enough. That says enough, man. You're not rocking it. Like, hey, I don't want to put my boy on blast, bro. But sometimes. All right. Y'all don't want to put him on blast. It proceeds to put him on maximum blast. Like, bro, this, this okay. I just blew up the speaker. <laughs> okay. You got it. Hey, man. You know, we're not, we're not, it's not fashion week out here. It's Smash Tournament, you know? We're not, not here to judge people what they I'm wear. I'm trying to judge a grown ass man by his shirt, though. That's all <laughs> I'm saying. Like, <laughs> Yeah, so some girl out there probably thinks Nitro is cute, but he, that shirt, mm, I don't know, man. <laughs> I, t I might even tell you to swipe right on Tinder at this point. All right, anyways, let's go back into it. <laughs> so uh, I don't know if I completely agree with running it back to this stage, honestly. It just seems like it, another comfortable pick yeah. for uh, Nitro. I, I know a lot of people like this stage because it's very common, but you got to think, like, man, you, you really struggle to do much against this guy. That's the problem that I feel some players do too. It's like they just gentlemen PS2. It's like, hold up, evaluate why we should, should go to PS2, why yeah. we shouldn't. I don't know. We'll see. Like, off to the start of this, like, Nitro just having a really good time. It's pretty much doing the same thing that he did in the previous game. Down tilt, nice. Gets that second hit. I like the fact he sets up that back air. Going for these angled ones. Yeah, I like that he does the angled uh, aerials with the. Oh my oh. god, I've never seen that kill. I've never seen the cross kill like that. But what a snipe from Nitro. He had it out there. Every time oh. he had, I was saying, every time he uses a projectile, it's with, a, with an obvious purpose. Yep. He doesn't just set it up, just set it up. He knows, like, okay, I can confirm. Look like, at that setup. Yeah, he yeah. had that, he, he had it all. He threw the uh, cross so it would come back to him and then he jump over it. And then he throws in the holy water, causing Peach to jump and then tries to follow up after that. He's playing, this man is playing a whole other game. Yeah. The setups with this character are insane. And, you know, that's the reason why Nitro continues to do so well with this character. Diagonal forward. Oh, there's oh, the snipe he's yeah. been looking for. That's the thing about tether recoveries. They're pretty good, but when they have a hitbox out there, it's not going to be that well. Yeah, when they reel in, they're pretty much forced to get hit by it. Mm -hmm. They don't have invincibility. So, like, nice. thought he could get something to start with the downers, but just to no avail. Oh, he was looking to confirm from the half from the cross, but he missed it. Yeah, just barely. Up air? No, go for wow, the up B. That was and so good. He not only down aired him, but he down aired and then reverses up B to follow the DI. Yeah, that was a good opportunity for him. And even if he tried to DI, it looked like Solux was not ready for it. I think he was not even ready for a Nair. Yeah, that was just a really good hit confirmed from Nitro. <laughs> There's the cross saying, I don't even he's care. Like what, he's like, what grab combo what do you have? Yeah, this what grab combo do you think you're going to get? This cross is coming back to play. This is my Another grab one. Combo. Nitro is just pressing all of his favorite buttons right now. And uh, Solix on his last stock is really struggling right now to just get started. He's just getting hit by every little thing. Can you imagine just trying to land knowing there's something that'll hit you that'll cause into another opportunity? It's just rough. That float range is just getting contested by so many things from Michael. Okay. One time that toad, <laughs> that toad yeah, counter pulling through. Range. He's coming back with the... Dude, he threw it the <laughs> other way just because he knew it would come back. He, so when he grabs the ledge, he still has to worry about the hitbox. Look, it's coming back again. Yeah, and the arc that it covers, it would have covered Junket up. Yeah, it's just so insane what he's able to do. Oh, you but drift too far. Act. Yeah, he drifted too far. Man, unplug your joystick now, bro. Go home. Nice you just show. lost to the guy wearing a kid's T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs>